kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, let's learn some more things about assets and bases. And we are going to learn about some great things for neutralization and also titration reaction. So what exactly we mean by these reactions? It is simply mixing acid and base together. And the end product for that is always ionic salt and water. Now why do we have this name for the reaction? It is simply because the final product which we get is water which is a neutral substance. If you want to classify this reaction that is a double replacement reactions. Let's write down these acid base reactions. We have sulfuric acid reacting with potassium hydroxide. So the formula for sulfuric acid, as you know, is H2SO4 and potassium hydroxide is KOH. It is going to be double replacement. So hydrogen goes with hydroxide and potassium goes with sulfate. And what do we end up getting? Our products are potassium sulfate and water. I like to write that as HOH which is easy to balance but you can always write H2O. Now when it comes to balancing we have two potassium here we only have one that means we need to make that two. This hydrogen comes from the hydrogen from acid. We have two hydrogen there that means it will be two H2O or two HOH and now it's a balanced reaction. We have next one is calcium hydroxide and that is CaOH twice plus phosphoric acid H3PO4 and then I want you to predict the products. Same thing you're going to work on the next two questions and make sure you completely get your answers and then when you are done check your answers with the next slide. So look at this. These are the answers for your earlier slide and I hope you got all those answers correct. Now what do we mean by the word titrations? Titration is the experimental process in which we mix acid and base until it becomes neutral. The main purpose of the reaction is to find out the molarity of unknown either acid or base. So what we do is we take a solution of known molarity and the other one is of course unknown. We also use an equipment which is called as burette and then we keep on adding other substance till we reach a point we call it as equivalence point. So at this point pH is equal to 7. When the reaction reaches equivalence point we can actually stop the titration and we call that as end point. Now how do we know we need to stop the titration reaction? For that purpose we add indicators. Indicators indicate that the reaction is complete. By what? By a color change and one of the example is phenothalene. This is actually set up for a titration experiment. Let's actually work on one titration problem. So what are we titrating? calcium hydroxide with HCl. Let's get the reaction first and that is calcium hydroxide formula and then we end up getting a salt which in this case is calcium chloride and we get water. Now water formula I like to write HOH which is easy to balance. It's same as H2O. Now if you look carefully we have two chloride that means we need to make that as two. And these hydrogen from acid, that is the source for hydrogen in water. So we have two here, that means we need to make that as two. And we are good, it's balanced reaction. So the ratio of moles for base to acid in this case is one to two. Or I can say the acid moles is double the moles of base. So if I want to say this as NB and this one as NA, then I can simply say that number of acid moles is two times the moles for base. 
Now, what is the formula for number of moles? If you remember molarity formula, that is N divided by liters. So, what is N? If you rearrange, it's nothing but simply multiplying both sides by liter. So, we get liters times M as number of moles. So, let's get NA and NB values. NA will be the volume in liters. We have 25 milliliters there. So, it will be 25.10 negative 3 times molarity for acid, which we don't know. So, let's put that as M. And N for base will be the volume, which is 45.8. And if I want to convert that into liters, it will be multiplied by 10 to negative 3. And molarity is 0.500. Once we get the number of moles for acid and base, then it is simply plugging the values in this formula, which is 25.10 to negative third times M is two times. Remember, there is two times the number of moles. 45.8 times 10 to negative 3 and that times 0.500. And when you solve for M, you get the answer M equal to 1.83. Okay, that's the molarity for the acid. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video.